Okay, so welcome everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome to our our first uh, EFT and Law of Attraction workshop of nine of uh, 2017. Whoops, I almost uh, <laughs> dates me. 2017, <laughs> January 1st. Welcome everybody. My name is Tony Parker, and uh, this is our EFT and Law of Attraction workshop. And so I guess we'll start in with some warm-up taps, and then we'll get into some personal check-ins and some personal tapping, okay? So let's start off with the protective shield of golden light, which is always a good kind of beginning to a warm-up. So let's just uh, start tapping the top of the head and just repeat after me, Simon says, energy system. Energy, energy system. system. Eyebrow, I'm instructing you. I'm instructing you. Okay, side of the eye. To generate, to generate, to generate a protective shield of golden light. A protective shield of golden light. Very good. Under the eye, on the cheekbone, all around my body. All around my body. Okay, under the nose. Uh, protecting me from all negative energies. Protecting, protecting me from all negative energies. energies. Okay, under the mouth, all negative uh, influences. All, all negative, negative influences. influences. Okay, collarbone. All negative intentions. All, all negative, negative intentions. intentions. Okay, now under the arm. All negative entities. All, all negative, negative entities. entities. Okay, now side of the hand, karate chop. Sending them all to the sun. Sending Send them, them all, all to the, the sun. sun. To be transmuted to love. To be transmuted to love. Very good. Let's go top of the head. Only allowing in. Only allowing Okay. Uh, eyebrow loving. 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 Side of the eye healing. Healing. Under the eye positive. Positive. Under the nose energies. 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 On the mouth and intentions. And intentions. Very good. Collarbone. And if I have any negative energies or intentions. If I have any negative energies or intentions under the arm, I send them all to the sun. I send, I send them, them all to the sun. Karate chop to be transmuted to love. To be transmuted to, be transmuted to, love. to love. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And I'll release. Very good. And now let's <laughs> uh, move along to Ho'oponopono which again is a great uh, tapping uh, exercise. There's all kinds of discussion on the internet about Ho'oponopono, and it's got a great story. And so let's just uh, start tapping again at the top of the head. And again, we're going to do this in English, so it's pretty easy. Okay, and again, it's Simon Says. So starting tapping at the top of the head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Eyebrow, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Side of the eye. I forgive you. I forgive, I forgive you. you. Cheekbone. I forgive myself. I forgive, I forgive myself. myself. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Under the mouth. I love you. I love, I you. love you. Collarbone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under the arm. Please forgive me. Please, Please forgive, forgive me. me. Karate chop. I forgive you. I forgive, I forgive you. you. Top of the head. I forgive myself. <laughs> I forgive myself. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye. I love you. I love, I love you. you. Cheekbone under the eye. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Under the nose, please forgive me. Please forgive, forgive me. me. On the mouth, I forgive you. I forgive, I forgive you. you. Collarbone, I forgive myself. I forgive, I forgive myself. myself. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, I love you. I love, I love you. you. Okay, take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay, very good. Excellent. And now we're going to move along to the gratitude tap. And then the first gratitude tap, okay, uh, this is like the general gratitude tap. Gratitude tap is a really classic law of attraction. If you ever go to those $3,000 weekend law of attraction seminars at the Marriott, Okay, this is what they teach you before they send you home on Sunday night. So it's pretty easy. I mean, it's ridiculously easy, but it yields a lot of benefits. It's very powerful. We make a list of things generally they were grateful for. This can be events, people, places, 
aspects of our lives that we feel positive about or grateful for, and then we just tap on them in a very simple way. So, who'd like to check in and share something generally that they're grateful for, okay, occurred in the last seven days or whatever? Go ahead, please. Well, this is Tammy, and I'll check in and just say that I am really grateful that I'm starting a new job on Tuesday. Awesome. Woohoo. Woo Yay. Okay. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Collarbone. Thank you. Thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, now take a deep breath. Good out release. Very cool. Excellent. And William, Ooh. something you're grateful for? You'd like to check in? Go ahead, please. Yep. Yep. I'd like to check in. This is William, and I'm thankful for my week off that I got to spend with Amy and and her kids, and it's been a really great week. Woo! Yay! Okay, top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Collarbone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay, very good. Well, I'll share something. I uh, uh, Let's see here. My car's working okay, so-so, and I got it to my little workshop, my little EFT workshop in Woodstock. And again, it was like the first workshop, face-to-face -face workshop of the new year. And it just felt good to be back in the saddle. I'm, you know, it's funny. I love the holidays, but at a certain point, boy, am I glad they're over. <laughs> you know, can we go home now? Can we go home now? You know, are we there yet? Okay. <laughs> Top of that. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath and now release. Very cool. Excellent. Okay, so let's move along to the cash and prizes version of the gratitude tap. This is absolutely cash money in the bank. If you, again, uh, basically make a list of sources of abundance, sources of income uh, that you're grateful for. This can be an employer, this can be government agency, uh, clients, students, customers, anybody who either pays you or gives you money. Uh, this can also be family members, anybody who pays you or gives you money, okay, a source of abundance. All right, who wants to check in and share a source of abundance? And if you want to keep it on no, 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 you can use initials or, you know, who cares, publish and be damned, use a name, go ahead. Uh, who wants to check in? Well, this is Tammy, and I'll start. And I would like to um, just express gratitude for William W. Ah, okay. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Awesome, very cool. Take a deep breath and now release. Okay, very cool. Uh, who else would like to check in and share a source of abundance? I guess that's uh, uh, William. That would be me. 
There you go. <laughs> yeah. I would love to check in, and I want to be thankful once again for my my job. Uh, they got a nice little bonus over Christmas here. I have to be very thankful for that, that these people know how to treat people right. Beautiful. I want to be thankful for that. Awesome. Top of the head. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Collarbone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the arm. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Let's all take a deep breath. And I'll release. Very cool. Excellent. And I'm going to use, uh, I guess I'll say JB, top of the head. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath. Okay, and release. All right, now we're going to get into the love tap. And this can work two ways. If you're in a relationship, the idea is to make a list of aspects of your partner that you love and admire and grateful for and go, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or if you're shopping, uh, make a list of your past flames because again, it's uh, really awesome and wonderful that to be to have been loved and to love, and of course, a lot of people go through life never, you know, et cetera, having been loved. Also, the idea is to bring up that love energy to attract, i.e., using law of attraction, bringing up that love energy to attract people who like love, who like to love and be loved. So that's how it kind of works. So, who wants to check in on the love tap? Go ahead, please. Well, Tammy, and I would just uh, express gratitude towards William that he really genuinely is a very loving person. Okay, very good. Oh, mushy squishy. Okay, top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Very thank cool. Okay, take a deep breath and I'll release. Okay, William, go ahead, please. Well, I've been sick the last couple of days and I want to give Tammy some thanks for how loving she's been and taking care of me for the last couple of days. Um, that's been really sweet. Very cool. Awesome. <laughs> Top of the head. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Eyebrow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Side of the eye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the eye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Under the nose. Thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Collarbone. Thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath. And now release. Very good. Excellent. And I guess I'll I'll share a past flame. L M. So top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Okay, take a deep breath and release. Awesome. Very cool. Very nice energy there. Okay, so let's just move along to the uh, money thermostat. Okay, and the way that works 
Uh, again, uh, the reason I love the money thermostat, it, it's based on the, uh, the, the story that the, the behind uh, uh, my, my uh, teacher, Gary Craig's success. Uh, he uh, basically had an affirmation where, you know, again, whatever he made that month, he set a vision or an intention to double that income, et cetera, the next month, et cetera. And he kept doing that. And of course, what happened was within a few years, he was able to sell his business and retire and become a full-time EFT practitioner and the rest is history. So, uh, and I've tried this exercise and, you know, there's some months I actually do double my income and then there are other months, you know, it's kind of an upward trajectory. But it, again, it's a really cool exercise, really activates law of attraction. And it's very empowering. So, since we're all kind of a kind of a public meeting, we're going to use what I call the vague version. Uh, when you're working on your own, use the real numbers, okay? Whatever you made last month, uh, then go, you know, even though I made X uh, last month, I choose to make twice X this month, okay? But when we're, you know, in a group, we're just going to be vague, all right? So, rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate chop, just repeat after me. All right. Even though I made what I made last month, even though I made what I made last month, I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept and forgive myself. Very good. Excellent. So even though I made what I made last month. Even, Even though, though I made what I made, made last month, I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention, intention to make twice what I made last month this month. To make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept and forgive myself. Excellent. So even though I made what I made last month. Even though I made what I made, what I made, made last month. month. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right, right now, I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last month this month. Make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply, deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. Love and accept myself. That's okay. Good. You're doing great. Don't worry. Okay. So now let's uh, go to the top of the head. Okay. And just repeat after me. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. Very good. Eyebrow. I deserve to make twice what I made last month this month. I deserve to make twice what I made last month this month. Okay. Side of the eye. I give myself permission to make twice what I made last month this month. I give myself you permission, permission to make twice, twice what, what I made last month this month. Okay, cheekbone. On the, I am willing to make twice what I made last month this month. I'm willing to make twice what I made last month this month. Under the nose, it's safe for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's safe for me to make twice what I made last month this month. Under the mouth, I have the power to make twice what I made last month this month. I have the power to make twice what I made last month this month. Collarbone, I like the way it feels when I make twice what I made last month this month. I like the way it feels when I make twice what I made last month this month. Okay, under the arm, it's easy for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's easy for me to make twice what I made last month this month. Karate chop, so even though I made what I made last month. Even though I made what I made last month. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention to make twice what I made last month this month. To make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, love and accept, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. Hit our release. Very cool. Excellent. All righty, so there you go. That's our, uh, you know, we just, uh, our warm-up series, okay? And now we're going to move into check-ins where you guys are invited to check in, share synchronicities, victories, challenges, kvetch and kvel, good news, etc. Go ahead, please. 
I know especially what you want to tap on. Sorry, go ahead. No, that's okay. Um, I am just really so grateful for how this, you know, new job came about and how I'm, you know, like I think about, you know, the anticipation and the worry and the being unsure and, and not, and really trying to not give into that and to just trust that, you know, things have a way of working out and, and to stay positive. And I'm, I'm really pleased that how, it, as I look back of what I was doing, you know, morning pages and writing and stuff of how worried I was and that it really did just, it's worked out, you know, it looks like it's going to be, you know, coming along just fine and, and just in the right time. And, and so, um, you know, then the next thing, you know, cause you know, uh, ACOAs are always waiting for their shoe to fall. So now, I've noticed that I've been <clears throat> I've been um, forgetful about a few kind of you know not huge things but you know things that normally I would not have wouldn't have gotten past me and so I I'm you know I'm a little worried about my ability to manage stress or and I'm not sure how I'm getting forgetful or what all's happening with that but that's kind of my um, you know the next uh, mountain to get over I guess as far as, you know, going to work and, and remember learning new things, you know, remembering things. And, and um, other than that, I, I, you know, that's just kind of what comes to mind right now. So, but I'm, I'm happy for the opportunity to be going back to work right on time. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Is there, uh, yeah. so is there anything you want to tap on? Is it the kind of, the, the, those negative voices or something or what? What would you like to tap on? Anything um, specific? Yeah, I think the, um, I don't know if I can really articulate it very well, but, you know, when I get there, I don't want to be screwing up. I don't want to be forgetting things. Like I said, I'm, I, I I scheduled a couple things recently, and I got, for some reason, just got the time wrong in my head. I didn't write it down, or I'm, you know, so I'm a little apprehensive about, you know, dragging that to work with me. <laughs> so I. Um, and I just want to do well when I get there. But uh, mm -hmm. Well, that's, you know, uh, you know the, again, that kind of self-sabotage or, shall we say, identity. You see, what happens is we create this identity, you know, ACOA identity, this false self or whatever you want to call it, you know. And giving up the identity is kind of, it, it's difficult. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, it's giving up a habit or a behavior, you know, and part of us actually fights to keep that identity, to keep that behavior, you know, because it's familiar, you know, and right, right. If you're used to financial insecurity or deprivation, okay? If right. uh, growing up in your family of origin, there was either a sense of deprivation or a sense of insecurity or real financial insecurity, and if that was your default, uh, you know, then it's interesting that we kind of will either, you know, we'll find some way to recreate those feelings, okay? Whether we, right. uh, you know, either we find uh, a job that's insecure or we find a partner that creates financial insecurity, you know? Uh, right. There's a variety of ways that we do this, you know? And, of course you know, we'll set, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, you know, because the script, right. you know, the script is there. Uh, but again, the, the tapping, as long as you're aware of what you're doing, you just keep tapping. And again, you know, it's it, for me, <coughs> excuse me, recovery as an, you know, under earner, ACOA, whatever you want to call it, uh, is, oops, I did it again, oops, I did it again, well, oops, I almost did it again, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. And oops, yeah. I, oh, wow, I stopped doing it, you know, which is really good news. So, you know, I think that's the, the progress, you know, we, we just get, you know, it, and again, it, it, it takes the, as you say, the vigilance and then the self-care, the self-treatment, you know, but thanks for sharing. Maybe right. some tapping on that, it's a good idea. Okay, William, you got something you want to check in with? Uh, I know you've been working on some pretty exciting uh, visions and things, but go ahead, please. Yep, uh, like I'd like to do today, if we could, is I want to work on uh, 
on my current job a little bit. And my concern is, is that these last few weeks, I've really pulled some power moves for myself, gaining my power, uh, my, my drive back, um, you know, pulling my defeat from the jaws of victory and turning it around. <coughs> and I would like to work on uh, my ability not to put uh, my coworkers like my dispatcher and uh, other folks into force fitting them into parental former role family roles, although there's a couple of them that fit real well. And uh, I want to avoid that and be able to, you know, be able to stand up and say, you know, that's not working for me or keep my voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that's that's a, a very good, deep insight, you know, uh, and and it's amazing how this ACOA stuff or family of origin stuff plays out, not just in our intimate relationships, but boy, it sure as hell plays out, you know, on the job. Boy, do we find our mamas and papas in the, in the office or in the job. It's amazing, you know, yeah. and little and kid sisters and cousins and nephew. I mean, the whole orchestra, right? <laughs> right. Right. right central casting there we go all righty okay so let's see here who wants to go first tammy you want to go um sure all right so then let's uh let's see what we're going to do here so it's it's basically this fear of self-sabotage resistance to allowing or uh, accepting the good things right is that it there's kind right. of a yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this is like a healthy, supportive environment. This is a, you know, I'm entering into, I mean, I went from where there was absolutely no support. You were abandoned left and right. And, and now this is moving into an atmosphere where they actually do uh, support staffing, staff meetings to support the staff. You know, they're... <laughs> I mean, this is this is gonna be so bizarre. I hope my head doesn't spit around and I spit pea soup on anybody. <laughs> so, well, yeah, again, wanna... you know, as far as EFT is concerned, this would be called psychological reversal, and what it means is whether it's an addiction or family trauma, family programming or some, something that's really deeply, deeply enmeshed in our core personality, okay, or our identity. Yeah. Uh, that it's almost, you know, we're, it's hardwired into us, okay? And basically, uh, Gary, we used to call that the uh, psychological reversal, that not only is it occurring emotionally, but it's actually occurring electrically or uh, electrochemically in our biology and our, the way our brain is wired. I know it sounds kind of scary, and what's happening is literally the wires have been crossed, and the, the positive energy is going down the negative wire, you know what I mean, and the negative wire, negative energy is going down the positive, you know what I mean, it's, it's reversed, yep. and so yep. this is where we have to do a lot of tapping, and uh, when we're dealing with psychological reversal, we want to do a lot of tapping on either the karate chop or rubbing the sore spot. And what we want to do is do a lot of reframes, okay, around that psychological reversal. And it sometimes sounds a little backwards and upside down, okay? It sounds like Alice in the Looking Glass kind of thing. But it's really, yep. uh, it's really how we've been wired by our family of origin, family traditions, family myths and legends. And it's, you know, it, it takes a lot, you know, it really takes that vigilance, which you have, okay? But then we yep. really hammer away at it. So let's rubber sore spot or tap on your karate chop. Either one will work, okay? And just repeat after me, even though it's not safe for me. Even though it's not safe for me. To have a healthy job. To have a healthy job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. Even though it's not safe for others. Even though it's not safe for others. For me to have a happy, healthy, abundant job. For me to have a happy, healthy, abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't trust myself. Even though I don't trust myself. To have a happy, healthy, abundant, prosperous job. 
to have a happy, happy healthy, healthy abundant, abundant, prosperous job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely deeply love and accept and myself. Love and accept myself. Even though I don't trust others. Even, Even though, though I don't trust others. For me to have. For me to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, happy healthy, healthy, prosperous, prosperous abundant, abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though it's not good for me. Even, Even though it's not, not good, good for me. To have a happy, healthy, a prosperous, abundant job. To have a happy, healthy, healthy prosperous, abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't deserve to have. Even though I don't deserve to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, happy, healthy, prosperous, prosperous abundant, abundant, job. abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply, I deeply and completely, completely love, love and accept, and accept myself. myself. Even though I don't believe I'll ever have. Even, Even though, though I don't, I don't believe, believe I'll ever have. have. A happy, healthy, abundant, prosperous job. A happy, happy healthy, abundant, abundant prosperous, prosperous job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm not ready to have. Even though I'm not ready to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid to have. Even, Even though, though I'm, I'm afraid, afraid to have. A happy, healthy, abundant, prosperous job. A happy, healthy, abundant, abundant prosperous job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm not ready to have. Even though I'm not ready to have. A happy, healthy, uh, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, happy, healthy, healthy prosperous, prosperous, abundant, abundant job. job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply, I deeply and completely, completely love, and love and accept myself. So even though part of me doesn't want to have. Even though no part, part of me doesn't want to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, happy healthy, healthy, prosperous, prosperous abundant, abundant job. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept, accept myself. myself. Okay, so now top of the head. I choose to give myself. I choose to give myself. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Eyebrow. I deserve to have. I deserve to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Side of the eye. I give myself permission to have. I give, give myself, myself permission, permission to have a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. I am willing to have. I am willing to have a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Under the nose, it's safe for me to have. It's safe for me to have a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, a healthy prosperous, prosperous, abundant, abundant job. job. Under, the, under the mouth, I have the power to have. I have, I have the, the power, power to have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, healthy, healthy prosperous, prosperous, abundant job. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I have. I like the way it feels when I have. A happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, a happy healthy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Under the arm, it's easy for me to have. It's, it's easy for me to have. A happy, prosperous, abundant job. A happy, happy prosperous, abundant job. Karate chop. So even though. So even though. I, even though. I feel all this fear and resistance about getting a happy, prosperous, abundant job. I feel, I feel all this fear and resistance to get a happy, prosperous, abundant job. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. 
today, today right, right now, now I set a firm intention. To heal and let go. To heal, to heal and let, let go. go. All fear and resistance to having a happy, prosperous, abundant job. All, All fear, fear and resistance to have a to happy, happy prosperous, prosperous, abundant, abundant job. job. And I deeply and completely. And, and I deeply, deeply and completely, completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, top of the head. Letting go of all fear and resistance to having a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Letting go of all, all fear and resistance to have a happy, happy prosperous, prosperous, abundant job. Abundant job. Okay, eyebrow, letting go. Letting, letting go. go. Side of the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the nose, letting go. Letting go. Under the mouth, letting go. Letting go. Collarbone, letting go. Letting go. Under the arm, letting go. Letting go. Karate chop. Letting go of all fear and resistance to having a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. Letting go of all fear and resistance to have a happy, healthy, prosperous, abundant job. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and love, accept, accept and, forgive and forgive myself. myself. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, how's that feel? Ooh, big shift. Thank you. Well, it's those crazy voices, of course, you know, that came from your family of origin where you, you know, that interject of just really upside down, bass backward messages, right? The crazy, right. but that's where the right. programming came, that's where they snuck it in. So there's actually voices in you that say you don't deserve, you're not good, you know, and you, you got to tap on them and voice them. And maybe, you know, we got, a, you know, I tried to get a lot of them, but maybe there's some yeah. others that, you know, got through the net, you know, and you've got to tap on it, even though, you know, my mother said she'd die if I got a good job, you know, or even though, you know, I'll feel guilty if I get a, you know, so you'll have to use your own Great. intuition to find some of the other ones. Okay. But the idea is to tap on them with either the sore spot or the karate chop and do the reframe. Okay. Uh, Great. Because those are, that's where that resistance and fear comes from. It, you know, it's not coming from the rational adult you it's coming from, the little girl who was programmed with all this craziness, you know, from the sicko, crazy right. parents, you know, uh, right, right. You know, all their weird, twisted stuff, you know, about a pr prosperity and abundance and success, you know. Right, right. Yep. And so that—that's yeah. what has to be kind of heat lanced. It's like lancing a boil or an ulcer, you know, lancing <laughs> it and healing it, and letting right. all the dreck come out and then heal it, you know. Awesome. Right. Okay, so William, you're up next. You're up to bat. Okay, and yep. so just refresh my memory. What it was you wanted to tap on? You said it was kind of uh, you don't want to turn your uh, colleagues and coworkers into your family. Is that correct? Kind of thing. That's yep. That's part of it, and the fact that I don't want to give away my voice, mm -hmm. my power to be able to say, well, I don't want to do that, or you know, my uh, my voice of uh, this isn't working for me or, you know okay. what I'm saying? Be able to stand up and say, you know, even though I'm facing down what seems to be my dad, I don't want to be doing this anymore. That doesn't work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that's excellent kind of general kind of general kind of principle and concept to work on. And that could be almost a whole kind of chapter. What I, I think would be beneficial is, is there anybody at the moment who immediately becomes your daddy at the, in your job? Well, it would be kind of like my dispatcher. He gets kind of demanding and pushing and, you know, and there, there are times when I need to back up a little bit. Okay. And he, he wants results and I'm not ready for that result, you know? Okay. So let's go there. So even though. Even, Even though, though my dispatcher, what's his name? Uh, my uh, okay. Ryan. Ryan. Even though my Ryan. he turns into my father. He turns into, into my, my father. father. Uh, when he starts making demands. When he, when he starts, starts making, making demands. demands. And uh, I turn into a little boy. 
And I turn into a little boy. And give away all my power. And give, give away, away all my power. power. And that's not working for me. And that's, that's not, working not working for me. For me. But I deeply and completely. But I, I deeply and completely, completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept love and accept forgive, and forgive myself. myself. So even though I give uh, Ryan my dispatcher all my power. So even though, even though I, I give Ryan, Ryan my, my dispatcher all my power. And, I, and he becomes my father. And he becomes my father. And I become a little boy. And I become a little boy. And I lose all my power. And I lose all my power. And I lose my voice. And I lose my voice. And that's not working for me. And that's not working for me. But I deeply and completely. But I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, so even though I give away all my power to Ryan. So even though I give all my power away to Ryan. And I lose my voice. And I lose my voice. Because he turns into my father. Because he turns into my father. And I turn into a little boy. And I turn into a little boy. And, and that's not working for me. And that's not working for me. Okay, I choose to take back all my power. And I choose to take back all my power. And I choose to regain my voice. Can and I choose to regain out? my voice. Right. And I deeply and, I and completely, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept and forgive myself. Excellent. Doing very well. Okay, let's go top of the head. Okay, uh, let's go. I choose, to, I choose to take my power back from Ryan. I choose to take my power back from Ryan. He's not my father. He's not my father. He's just a dispatcher. He's just a dispatcher. And it's strictly business. And it's strictly business. I brow. Uh, I'm taking back. Uh, I deserve to take back all my power from Ryan. I deserve to take all my power back from Ryan because he's not my father. Because he's not, not my father. father, and I'm not a six-year-old little boy. And I'm not a six-year-old little boy. Ryan's just a man like me. Ryan's just a man like me. He's a dispatcher. He's a dispatcher. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. He's just doing his job. He's just doing his job. And I'm doing mine. And I'm doing mine. And it's strictly business. And it's strictly business. And I'm taking back all my power. And I'm taking back all my power. Side eye. I give myself permission to take back all my power from Ryan. I give, I give myself, myself permission, permission to take, take all my power back from Ryan. Because he's not my father. Because he's not my father. And I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. He's just a dispatcher. He's just a dispatcher. And I'm a driver. And I'm a driver. And he's doing his job. And he's doing his job. I'm doing mine. I'm doing mine. And we're both grown men. And we're both grown men. And I'm taking all my power back. And I'm taking back all my power. Under the eye, I am willing to take back all my power from Ryan. To take all my power back from Ryan. Because he's not my father. He's, he's not my father. And I'm not a little boy. And I'm not a little boy. He's, he's a dispatcher. He's a dispatcher. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. We're both men. We're both men. Strictly business. Strictly business. I'm taking back all my power. And I'm taking back all my power. And I'm taking my, I'm not getting my voice back. And I'm getting my voice back. Under the nose. It's safe for me to take back all my power from Ryan. It's safe for me to take all my power back from Ryan. Because he's not my father. He's, He's not, not my, my father. father. And I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. And my job is not my family. 
And my job is not my family. It's just where I make a living. It's just where I make a living. It's strictly business. It's strictly business. And Ryan is a dispatcher. <clears throat> and Ryan is a dispatcher. And I'm a driver. And I'm a driver. And we're both adult men. And we're both adult men. Under the mouth, I have the power to take back all my power from Ryan. I have the power to take back all my power from Ryan. Okay, because he's not my father. Because he's not my father. And I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. It's not my family. It's not my family. This is strictly business. This is strictly business. He's a dispatcher. He's a dispatcher. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. And we're both adult men. And we're both, both, adult, both adult men. And I'm taking back my power and my voice. I'm, I'm taking, taking back, back my power and my voice. Collarbone. Uh, I like the way it feels when I take back my power from Ryan. I like the way it feels when I take back my power from Ryan. Uh, he's not my father. He's not, not my father. father. And I'm not a little boy. And I'm not a little boy. It's just business. It's just business. It's just a job. It's just a job. And we're just and we're and we're two adult men. And we're two adult men. Okay, under the arm. Uh, and uh, it's easy for me to take back my power from Ryan. And it's easy, it's easy for me to take, take my back power back, back from Ryan. Because he's not my father. Because he's, he's not, not my father. father. I'm not a little boy. No, I'm not, not a little, little boy. boy. It's just my job. It's just my job. He's, he's, a, he's the dispatcher. He's the dispatcher. I'm a driver. I'm a, I'm driver. a driver. And it's just strictly business. And it's, it's just strictly business. And I can take my power back and take my voice back. I can take my power back and I can take my voice back. Karate chop. So even though I gave my power away to Ryan. Even though I gave my power away to Ryan. Because he turned into my father. Because he turned into my father. And I turned into a little boy. And I turned into a little boy. And I lost my voice. And I lost my voice. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. I'm taking my power back from Ryan. I'm taking my power back from Ryan. And I'm getting my voice back. And I'm getting my voice back. Because my job is not my family. Because my job is not my family. It's strictly business. It's strictly business. And Ryan's not my father. And Ryan's not my father. I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. We're both adult men. We're both adult men. And this is just a job. And this is just a job. And I'm taking my power back. And I'm taking my power back. And I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept and forgive myself. Excellent. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, William, how does that feel? I feel shifted. Good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, basically what you, you know, what I would do is, you know, with your, with a notebook, kind of map out who's who at the job and who they've morphed into, into your family roles. Okay. And you just got to right. separate the family role from the person, you know? So if there's somebody who's turned into your mother or, you know, sister, ex, whatever it is, you want to separate right. them out and kind of disempower them they're just who they are you know so and again you don't have to give anybody any power i mean it's a place of business there's a certain protocol of behavior you know and there's certain you know business being cordial and business-like and professional but you don't have to right. give anybody any any power you know and you don't have to give your voice away see what that is is the little boy trading power for love and attention from your uh -huh. alcoholic father because that's the right. game you learned in your family of origin, you know? Right, right. And uh, now, you know, 
the, and the good news is today you don't have to give away any, you don't have to give away your power to anybody, even if they are an alcoholic, you know, you don't have to give your power away to anybody. And, uh, you know, cause, and again, you're not, it's nice if you have friends at your job, but frankly, all you should care about is, you know, that it's a safe place to work and they, and the check clears, you know what I mean? Right. Right. And I think I find myself, you know, stuck doing people pleasing sometimes. Um, when I, when I don't really feel like doing certain things, um, at work, Mm -hmm. I just say yes, because, you know, I want to make people happy when I shouldn't be. Well, again, that's, again, it's strictly business. It's a place of business. And if they're at, you know, I don't know, you know, whether you have a contract and there's a scope of work and there's, you know, your job function is clearly defined. If they start asking you to do stuff outside your scope of work or outside your, you know, prescribed responsibilities, uh, you know, or, you know, you have a right to, to criticize or judge or, I mean, I don't mean criticize, but discuss, debate, or negotiate or navigate, you know, and right, say, well, right. you know, and, but again, the, the, the people pleasing, that's all ACOA survival stuff. A job is strictly a place of business and, you know, basically, uh, you know, getting, turning them into your parents is not going to fatten your paycheck. No. <laughs> In fact, no, it may I, have the exact opposite, and so that's. I think it has done that. So because I would. It, mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm listening. Sorry. Well, in my family of origin, I'm Mister Fix It, and they call me to fix. Well, clean it up. Clean it up. It, yeah, that's yep. right. Where and my boss has taken off using me for the cleanup duty. So if somebody else makes a mess, who does he call? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't pay nearly as good as if you just get the straight loads. You load here, you go there. But when you say yes, and you're the cleanup guy, if you you got to learn to say no. I think I'll stick to the original plan or I'd whatever your contract. I mean, you know, I you know yep. some depending on the you know terms of employment, scope of work, or standard operating procedure of the company. Is there, is this a union shop or a private shop or what? I'm paid by the mile. It's a private shop. Okay. It's a, I drive a truck for these folks, and it, it's a good paying job. I do great things, but sometimes, and my paycheck reflects it, is that when when somebody does something wrong or or misses a load or misses or misses something in the step, he usually calls me to say, "Oh my God, so and so slept in late. They missed this appointment. I need you to get over there." quick and get this load picked up and what I would have been doing would have paid more instead of I'm, I'm batting cleanup all the time. Well, shouldn't you be paid more for cleaning up somebody else's mess? That's exactly. Tammy said the same thing. (laughs) So So that's, that's why I need to have my voice to say, well, I'll need a couple extra cents to do this for you because it's not going to pay as well. Well, there you, you know. go. So I would practice role play with Tammy. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Role play, practicing, saying different ways of saying, you know, this is business. I love your company. I love working for you guys. However, this is business. I am making a loss doing your cleanup. If you want me to clean up your mess, you're going to have to pay me uh, equity with what I'd normally get. Right. Now, if you're having fear or it's hard for you to say that, then I would definitely tap and role play with, with Tammy till the fear or the anxiety goes away. Now, again, you want to find a neutral, cordial, professional voice. You don't want to go in there like a scapegoat raging and nuke the thing, you know? Right. But right. You're, you're, yep. perfect. You're, you're allowed to be a man, you know, an adult man. Uh, who's a reliable, responsible employee, and you're allowed to say, listen, I get paid X for doing this job, but when you send me on cleanup where there's a mess or a problem and I get paid Y, that's not fair. In fact, you're rewarding the other employees for fucking up. Pardon my French. Right. And you're right. You know? You're exactly right. 
So I would, you know, yep. find a voice and, you know, write this stuff down, okay, and then mm -hmm. role play, rehearse with uh, Tammy, but also as the anxiety or the fear or the, shall we say, the uh, uh, need to people please, okay, rises, start yep. tapping. Okay. Because remember, this people-pleasing is a survival tactic that you've been doing a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, it's going to take a while to get kind of work on it, but I would just keep tapping on it. You know, even though I've got, you know, I'm a people pleaser and I want everybody to love me and it's too dangerous for me to stand up to people, yada, 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 yada. I mean, we can get into that more deeper, but this is something you could do role play with Tammy, Okay. And okay. just yep. keep tapping till the point where you where you're a complete neutral, and you don't feel that urge to people please and kind of grovel and beg for crumbs, you know. Uh, because right. that's all the stuff a little boy does. You see, with a crazy alcoholic father or mother, I don't know who the the alcoholic was in your family. Both. 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 Well, then of course you're going to be groveling for crumbs, you know. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's and again, it was a scam because there are no crumbs. That's the problem with an alcoholic family: is there are no crumbs? They make they think they're they kind of the scam is well. If you grovel and people please, uh, you know, uh, we'll give you a couple of crumbs. The truth is, there's nothing there. There never was anything. Yeah. You know, there are no I, crumbs. I, <laughs> Tammy and I have talked about this before, and I attributed when it first hit me a realization of what I'm doing. I told her it's like playing a game of slap hands with with uh, somebody you care about. Whoop, yeah. you missed. Whoop, you missed. Smack. Playing bloody knuckles. Bloody remember? knuckles. Right. Remember bloody knuckles. Well, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a yeah. rigged game. It's a rigged game. You know, it's like a, you know, like I said, you, you can never win. But the, the thing is to stop playing it in your real life. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. Because, you, you know, again, all it does is you end up being, eventually what happens, you end up getting depressed or angry at yourself for repeating a pattern that probably, let's face it, and this is, this is the part that's really, uh, if, you know, we often make other people take advantage of us because it's familiar. In other words, I would assume unless he's a complete, you know, that your dispatcher by and large is a pretty neutral kind of guy, but you've put him in the role and you've set up this scenario that you're Mr. Fix-It. Right. Because I doubt any of the other drivers are going to say, yeah, sure, I'll fix it for less money. I doubt they do that. And, you know, I, I, I assume they probably say, not only do I want the same, I want extra for fixing up the mess. I'll right. bet you the other drivers have already told him that. Yep. He probably just saves it for the new guy. <laughs> you, you know. And then the new guy figures it out, and then he says, you know, I'm not cleaning that up. You know, that thanks, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that trip isn't going to pay. Yeah. That, that's what ends up happening is I end up on a – I get less miles. I get the same amount of money I get, but I end up with less miles, and that's what counts. Right. Right. Well, again, my advice is to just do a lot of tapping around this stuff, a lot of tapping around the, the people pleasing, and you want to separate the dispatcher from your father. He's just a dispatcher. He's just doing his job. You know, he's got a scope of work. He's got a con an assignment of what he's supposed to do, and you've got your job, and he's just doing his job. It's nothing personal. It's business, you know? So if you can keep it business, all that drama will – you know, we'll, we'll start to lift and it's just easier for you to negotiate. It's just a negotiation. It's a negotiation and a navigation. Okay. You bet. Awesome. Well, listen, guys, it's top of the hour. I want to thank you all for showing up. I want to wish you all a happy, prosperous, abundant, uh, love filled new year. We'll be back again on, uh, next Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, guys, keep tapping. And I love you all. I want to hear what happened. I, I love finding out what's going to happen next. You know, this is why I come on here. I can't wait to hear what's going to happen to you guys. Okay? So God bless you all. Have a good one. Good night. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.